In this video, I'll tell you about a beautiful phenomena called apical dominance. So before going into it, let me first introduce you with the plant and its part. So over here, I have a paper plant. So if you look closely in a plant, the tip of the plant or the part of a plant where the growth happens, the meristematic cells where the growth happens is known as apical bud or apical tip. If you look closely in a plant, you'll notice that between the main stem and the leaf, there's a tiny stem that protrudes from there that's known as lateral buds lateral buds apical buds remain active until the plant is alive or it remains on a plant the bud remains on the plant lateral buds are dormant they are dormant they remain dormant until the apical bud is present on the plant. As soon as the apical bud is removed from the plant, lateral buds become active. So, what is an apical dominance? It is a phenomenon in which if we remove the apical bud of a plant, the lateral buds start to grow. Why does that happen? It happens because apical bud is the center is the part of a plant where the auxin is produced so if this is the apical bud this is the production center of auxin if you don't know what auxin is you can check out our previous videos so auxin is the hormone that is responsible for apical dominance I told you in my previous video that apical auxin is a hormone that helps in the elongation of a cell. It also helps in apical dominance and phototropism. So what's the reason behind apical dominance? So as I told you apical bud is the location where the shoot growth occurs. Auxin is produced at this part of a plant at the tip at the shoot apex and is transported via the phloem to all the parts of the plant. When it is transported, it diffuses to all of the parts of a plant, including the lateral buds. And auxin is a hormone that doesn't allow these lateral buds to grow. So as long as auxin is being produced over here, lateral buds never grow because auxin doesn't allow these lateral buds to grow and as they keep on diffusing into the lateral buds they never grow so what would happen if i remove this production center this production center of auxin if i remove the production center of auxin that means no more auxin is being produced so what would happen that means that there is no one, there is no one who could now stop these plants, these lateral buds to grow. So within a few days, you will notice that your plant has become like this. These lateral buds, these are lateral buds started to grow. And this beautiful phenomena is known as apical dominance. You might have noticed in parks and playgrounds that grasses are uh, trimmed in su such a manner that they are like dome shaped or rectangle shaped or whatever the trimmer wants them to be. It is like that they trim them in a beautiful way. That's also because of apical dominance. So let me explain you how does that happen. So let's say these were our grass. So as the trimmer cuts the top part, they cut off the apical bud of each plant. Now what happens next is the lateral buds start to grow. The lateral buds start to grow. 
if they grow above the level, the tumor cuts down again. This happens every time they grow and because of the continuous trimming what happens the leaf grow everywhere everywhere inside the plant making it making it more dense and nice nice shaped that give the gardener a beautiful shape that they want so this was apical dominance